When I was a lad, the schoolmaster said, My lessons I never got right. In me back there's a pain with the weight of the cane That he left there with all his might. He set me a sum I had ne'er before done. When I grumbled, it's too hard to do. He says you because you're the worst in the class, or everyone does it but you. Everyone does it but you, my lad. Oh, everyone does it but you. And I think you're to blame if you don't do the same. For everyone does it but you. A friend of mine invited me out to go to a Christmas ball. As the boys and the girls, they all filed in to a well-lit top spacious hall. Each bell had her bone, ate the game as the toe, enjoying a sweet kiss or two. When the standable grace poked her nose in me face, and says everyone does it but you. Everyone does it but you, my lad. Oh, everyone does it but you. And I think you're to blame if you don't do the same. For everyone does it but you. When the ball it was o'er straightway to the door, I escorted this pretty fair maid. She asked me to pay her a visit next day, and sure I wasn't hard to persuade. She asked me if I would marry her, but I didn't know what to do. I referred her to Dad, he says, take her, me lad. For everyone does it but you. Oh, everyone does it but you, my lad. Oh, everyone does it but you. And I think you're to blame if you don't do the same. For everyone does it but you. Two years now are fled since the time we were wed, and yet there's no sign of an heir. My wife's growing wild for the want of a child, and often at me she will swear. There's my cousin Kate, she already has it, and sure Biddy the last time had to. And John, my dear John, sure we'll never have won, for everyone does it but you. Oh, everyone does it but you, my lad. Oh, everyone does it but you. And I think you're to blame if you don't do the same. For everyone does it but you. Once I loved with fond affection, and his thorns were all on me. Till the dark girl did persuade him. Now he thought no more on me. Now he's happy with another. One that has bright gold in store. T'was she who caused my heart to ponder. I'm left alone.
because I'm poor. Go and leave me if you shit. Never let me cross your mind. And if you think I'm so unworthy, go away, love, never mind. Many a night with you I rambled, many an hour with you I spent. I thought your heart was mine forever, now I found twas only land. The heart has failed me, and you know it. The heart that fondly beats for you. How often could I tell another the tales of love I told to you? Go and leave me if you wish it. Never let me cross your mind. And if you think I'm so unworthy, go away, love, never mind. Many a night when you were sleeping, thinking on your night's repose, and I, poor girl, was sadly weeping, listening to the wind that blows. Farewell, friends and kind relations. Farewell to you, my false young man. The cause of all my grief and sorrow. Ne'er to return to this world again. Go and leave me if you wish it. Never let me cross your mind. And if you think I'm so unworthy, go away, love never mind. Good people, pay attention and listen to me song. About my little nanny goat, I won't detain you long. T'was on the fourteenth of the month that I milked your for to spare, and I drove her out before me to November Newtown Fair. I drove her on before me and down the Almile Hill, where lots of horny cattle there around me they stood still. I thought I wouldn't sell her, but I offered up a prayer, and I sell me beast for fourteen pence that day in Newtown Fair. If you've seen me and me nanny goat so tapered and so gay, the women and to take the fields will leave me what I say. For our horns they were sharp and point for battle when prepared, and I drove her on before me to November Newtown Fair. Now the man that bought my nanny goat was a very decent man. Then picked pocket in Newtown and they called him Handy Dan. He kept a decent lodging house with the lay heads and points and lairs. 
Take up gentle bend on ladies on the night in you turn fair. She'll be seen no more on the garden where she used to wag her tail. She'll be seen no more in the garden eating the lovely hens of kale. She'll be seen no more on the kitchen floor where she used to cut money a square. And I drunk the price of me nanny goat that day in Newtown Fair. There isn't on record a more glorious spree Nor hell on last Michaelsmas up in Glencree You'll never forget it, my word, just believe From this blessed hour till the night to Tibbs Eve For the wedding the Larry McGrain, sir He got buckled to Judy McLean, sir From Mount Philia to Petticoat Lane, sir there was grub hunter shop in Lencury. The bridegroom came riding horseback on a mule, bringing fig and the fiddler up from Rockpool. Jenny Burns, the piper, he couldn't be found, till Mooney's jackass was released out of pound. With the messenger humpy by Casey, a right deaf blind, unbothered and lazy. The night was cold, dark, thick and hazy, and they all smelt away to Glencree. Twould be as difficult a thing to tell all that were there as count the pickpockets in Donnybrook Fair. But as they were strangers to both me and you, for fear you'll be jealous, I'll name you a few. We'd have mine or one Mickey Malone, sir, kept a thunder in mine of his own, sir. Twas a quarry of the loveliest free stone, sir, in the diggings of Ovindland Cree. We the village schoolmaster of Snuffy Bob Mac, four and twenty stone cutters from Sweet Ballybrack, and Mickey McLaughlin up from Loch Bray. His mother kept a sheep and for selling goats way. There was a thundering squad of the Roonies, the Mulligans they came with the Moonies. And the Murphys came in with the Coonies To the wedding above in Glencree If you're anxious to know how we fared off for prog There was lice and the beef that was reared on the bog And the mutton was found, boys, before it was lost For for some of the boys the herring brew crossed for as high as the public recorder, get some of these coveys in order, for a leave of absence to cross over the border on a seven year trip from Glencree. The spalpin was mixed in pegged on a hoose churn, and each in rotation was served out on turn. The first toast was drank to the bridegroom and bride, sir, at a speedy down tall to the tide, sir, and the flower of all Aaron's pride, sir, the mercies that bloomed in Glencree. Who the devil come in when the drinking began, but that rowdy Tim Ryan, the tide proctor's man, the boys had him set and the whisper went round, for it was him put Mooney's jackass into pound. As he tripped through a three-hearted reel, sir, he got a southwestern clout from Sam Shield, sir, and it put him right head over ale, sir, and that stopped his walls in Glencree. Me, the murder, he cried, you have killed me, Calden. So we carried him out on the brown feather bed, and myself and Kate Kenny, a friend of the bride, we danced right for an instant, but looked to the tide. 
Are we kept up the fun till next day, sir? And when we were going away, sir, each swore they would come back as gay, sir, to the christening above in Glen Cree. Now was a lady in our father's garden, a gentleman he came riding by. And as he knew her, he stepped up to her and says, Fair lady, would you fancy I? No, no, kind sir, I am not a lady, but a pure girl of a low degree. So come ye with me, my bride I'll make you, and I love servants to wait on thee. Oh, don't you see, yon fine, fine castle surrounded round with lilies white. And more than that, I have gold and silver, if you consent for to be my wife. Oh, what care I for your fine, fine castle, or what care I for your lily's white. Or what care I for your gold and silver if my own will he was here tonight? For it's seven years since I had a sweetheart and seven more since I did him see. And seven more will I wait upon him, for if he's living, he'll come back to me. If it's seven years since you had a sweetheart, perhaps by this time he's dead and gone. So come ye with me, my bride I'll make you, and wait no longer on any one. If he is ill, then I wish him better, and if he's dead, I'd wish him rest. But no other young man will e'er entice me, for he was the lad he did love best. So when he found that she was so loyal, for fear or love that it might be lost, he says, I'm your young, and your own true lover has been so oft on the ocean tossed. If you're my young, and my single sailor, show me the token I give to thee. And oh, when you show it, right well I'll know it, you are my willy, has come home to me. He put his hand then into his pocket, and with his fingers so thin and small, brought forth a gold ring, which divided between them. So when she saw it, she down did fall. He took her up, then into his arms, and gave her kisses, 
so tenderly. Then I'm your fond and your own true lover that has come home far to marry you. Oh, you talk of a double and for money a tune. And also of Johnny Brook when it was in full bloom. Neither Johnny Brook or Dublin could ever compare with the fun we would have in the Big Iron Fair. Oh, the Big Iron Fair, it come twice a year, and each lad and lassie to new town would steer. To meet their old sweethearts and court with them there, they would all gather into the big iron fair. There come pretty girls from Dorsey and more from Tullinall, some from Colliana and more comely ball. But our own country lassies is the nicest would be there For to gain the boys attraction in the big Highland Fair Take a walk round Mullins Corner upon the big fair day All women and their daughters so beautiful and gay were lined along the walls and all round the square, you would almost feel enchanted in the big iron fair. Oh, the publicans in New Town, in fact, they're rather tough. If you hadn't got money, they'd say you drank enough. But if you had money plenty, the matter would be square. You could drink a half a punch in the big iron fair. About four o'clock in the evening, the value would begin. The whips and sticks are flying, and off will be the din. The police then would come, and sure no one they would spare. They would make you rue your folly in the big iron fair. So now the fair is over, and I am over too. If you don't believe me what I said, I'll tell you what to do. Just come yourself the next time and I'll meet you there And we'll have a drop together in the big iron fair You know I am a stranger Last night I came from home I came from a place called Tonstown, a place where I'm well known. I came from a place called Tonstown, my darling girl, said he. Oh, Mary, dear, don't slight your love, but rise and come with me. She says you are a rover, on you I can't depend. You might often times deceive me and seldom prove my friend. I'll stay with my own parents, take them to be my guide. Go court some other fair one, I ne'er will be your bride. Oh, Mary dear, I love you, and that right well you know. It was your cruel parents that ruined my over. 
world through. And while your cruel parents swore vengeance against me, which makes me plant my garden in a strange country. He says you are of noble birth, I'm of a low degree. I'm of the seed of Adam, my love as well as thee. It's true you have got riches great and lots of worldly store. But I what the Lord allowed for me, I can't have nothing more. Search the book of Alexandra, a verse there you will find. You're not to place your mind on gold or any earthly ground. For when he had the world won, he sat down and wept full sore. Because there was but the one world, and he could gain no more. I'll travel to Mount Tabor, where Moses viewed the land. From that unto Mount Ed, where Noah's ark is done. I'll never quit my rambling while I'm fit to wear a shoe And Mary dear while life remains I'll always mourn for you You loyal lovers pay attention while to you a tale I tell In all love to young loyal lovers For years in one house did well Rosetta being the only daughter And she being her parents joy, but day and night she took delight in courting will the gay ploughboy. Early on a fine spring morning, Willie to his horses went, and he listened to the voice Rosetta filled young Willie's heart content. She sang the song, twas her sweet William, while she milked the spotted cow. And listen to young Willie's whistle Whilst he followed the plough Her father came into the dairy Where she sang these tales of love he fixed his eyes to her surprise and swore by all the powers above. You strumpet bold of you, I'm told, along with poverty you tie. 
For twelve long months you have been courting With young will a gay plough boy Into a dungeon he then put her Far from the light of day for twelve long months on bread and water, this young maid did pass away. Till grim death sent him a summon from this world of toil and care. He left his whole estate and treasure. Rosette had been the only heir. Soon her unwilly was united, and the village bells did ring with joy. To Come home, young Rosetta, with young Will, her gay plough boy. Twas early, early all in the spring, when my love will he went to serve the king. And all that grieved him and vexed his mind Was the leaving of his girl behind Now build for me a little boat Ahead on the ocean I might float And once the small boats as they pass by That I might inquire of me sailor boy as I was sailing in the deep, a jovial crew I chanced to meet. Sing jovial crew, will you tell me true? Does my love will he sail on board with you? What kind of lad was your willy dear? Or what kind of clothing did he wear? He wore a jacket of the royal blue. He was easy known for his heart is true. Indeed, fair maiden, your love's not here. For he is round, we all do fear. And yon green island as we came by, T'was there we lost your fine sailor boy. She wrung her hands and she tore her hair, And beat her breast in wild despair. And her little boat against the rock she flung, Saying I can't live on will he gone. So dig my grave both long and deep, Put a marble stone at my head and feet, And in the centre put a turtle dove, To show the world that I died in love. At the foot of David's mountain, where the waters do run, where the pearl and stream do gently glide, which divides my father's land. Twas covered o'er with linen cloth, there's wrought near Tondraghi. And woven by Robert Cunningham and a boy called John May. One evening fair I chanced to stray, being in the watchman's cry, when the arm of milk came gently in and slowly passed me by. 
I put my spiders to my eye and viewed the coach around. And there I spied a lady of honor and renown. I quickly followed after her to help her from the coach. I took her by the lily white hand and showed her round the beach. I showed her all my father's ships at Silver Cheshire Fair. And only for you, darling, I am sure I might be there. Today I lost a diamond ring more precious than gold. And you're the one that found it, fair lady, I am told. I says, my honoured lady, will you come to an inn, where we may get a bottle of beer, our courtship to be in. She says, now, noble gentleman, I'm not as you suppose. I'm not an honoured lady, the more I wear good clothes. I'm but a farmer's daughter, right near to a Hamilton's barn. And for further information, I dwell on drumming land. I says, now, honoured lady, will you take this coach with me? I'll drive you down to Hamilton's barn, your drum and land to see. Five hundred pounds in ready gold, and your father I'll bestow. And I'll crown you queen of Drummond's land before I let you go. She says, now, noble gentleman, your suit must be denied, for I'm already promised for to be a young man's bride. I am already promised this seven long years and more. And he's bought a linen weaver, the young lad I adore. Sometimes I wish that I was dead and laid in my cold grave. All for the sake of a young man that did my heart deceive. The very first time I saw my love, he filled my heart with joy. And I wish, I wish I ne'er had seen that young apprentice boy. The second time I saw my love was on a summer day. He came up to my window and this to me did say, Arise, arise, my bonny lass, arise, arise with joy. And it's quickly, quickly she made his 
to our young apprentice boy. Sometimes we walked, more times we talked, till we came to a well. We both sat down together there, our tales of love to tell. My love some tales had told to me that filled my heart with joy. But I wish, I wish I never had seen that young apprentice boy. Young Willie turned his head around Tears standing in his eyes. He says, my pretty fair maid, your love I must deny. For I am engaged to another fair maid that has bright gold in store. Through lonesome shades or valleys, with you I'll roam no more. Oh, Willie, dear young Mary said, what makes you now say so? Is that the vow you made to me about six months ago? But since bright gold has won your heart, oh, I wish, I wish you joy. But I wish, I wish I never had seen that young apprentice. Boy. You lovers all, both one and all, now listen to my theme. There's none on earth can pity me, or none can feel my pain. I was reared between Dungan and Anne, the town of Fagnatlai. But now I'm in America with my father's servant boy. My parents wish to have me wed unto a gentleman. And in the church we were to meet and join him when luck's man. But the night before I stole from them into a village nigh, where there I met my own true love, my father's servant boy. I took my love along with me, I cared for nothing more. I bid farewell to all my friends on the lovely Shamrock shore. To Belfast town we both went down, where the sea she did lie. And in that ship I sailed away with my father's servant boy. I left my parents lonesome in sorrow and in grief. Both night and day condoling without a wink of sleep. Tell a letter I did send them back to the town of Atnatloy. Saying I was in America with my father's servant boy. 
But when we reach Columbia shore, our money it was all done. Sometimes we were supported by a wealthy Irish fund. Tell a gentleman from Irm's Isle, my love he did employ. Five pounds a week I now receive from my father's servant boy. My father wrote a letter giving me to understand. He said if I'd come back again, he would give me half his land. This was the news I sent him back from Philadelphia town. Whilst he was worth a shilling that I was worth a pound. With pleasure and contentment I never will deny. I'm living in America with my father's servant boy.